the story that was the most troublesome was what's called the Hooper story. The Gerald Ford nominates a man named Hooper from Columbus, Mississippi to the TVA board. And Nat does a series of stories on his background. Among other things, calls him, quote, a hustler, a huckster, and a con man. Knight vets the story, and Nat, in the body of the story, documents hustler, huckster, con man. And Knight said, fine, I can defend it. It goes before the Senate committee, and Hooper is rejected as a TVA director. And he goes back to Mississippi and sues us for a million dollars. In Nat's long career, he's had all sorts of controversy, but he has never been sued. I had a policy if we got sued, I would call the reporter in and I would say, look, let me tell you what's going to happen. Tomorrow morning, 3 o'clock, your eyes are going to pop open and you're going to wonder, what in the hell have I done wrong? And you'll start examining every decision you made in the process of writing this story. That's going to happen to you again and again and again unless I can convince you that you don't have to worry about this story for a year, a year and a half, two years before it ultimately will go to trial. Because if you wake up every day worrying about this story, I'm not going to get a damn thing out of you for another year and a half. A week later, he's back in. Well, Camilla says, you're going to fire me over this. I said, Caldwell, I'm never going to fire you. I've told you before, you can work here as long as you want to work here. Do you understand that? Well, I don't like Al Knight, and I don't like Bill Willis, and I want my own lawyer. And I said, well, who do you want? Well, you're not going to like it. I said, you know, try me. I want Lamar Alexander. And I said, go get Lamar Alexander. So he goes to see Lamar. Lamar calls me on the phone and said, I've just had a long conversation with Nat Carwell. And I don't know that I've ever represented a communist before. But the punchline on it is when the decision comes down, dismissing summary judgment, it describes Carwell's work as journalism in the highest tradition of investigative reporting.